All right. Stories with Dale Titus. Hey, Dale. It's Brad Russell. Thanks for including me in. Um, I have to be honest, there are not really any bands I've wanted to play with as much as specific artists. And there's quite a few, so that makes it a little hard to answer. But I guess if I had to narrow it down, the number one artist that I've always wanted to play with, and I think I'd play really well with this um, specific artist, is Eddie Van Halen. I love Eddie. Um, he's influenced me as much as any bass player has. When I was a teen, he was a hero of mine. Uh, the way he looked, his hair, his uh, mannerisms, his guitars, of course, his amazing playing, the tapping was all really a big influence on me, as well as uh, his tone and uh, the chord changes he used on the Van Halen song. So, yeah, if I had to narrow it down, it would be King Edward. Yeah. Hey, Everything Bass. How's everybody doing? This is Maurice from Los Angeles. The dream band that I would most like to sit in with, I have a clear answer for that. I've had it ever since I was a kid. I grew up watching the David Letterman show and the world's most dangerous band led by Paul Schaefer was the job I thought was the coolest that a musician could ever have. The um, schedule was five nights a week. You're always in the same place. Uh, they, they did tend to go out once in a while, but there was, um, just all the different styles of music they had to play. They had all the guest artists coming on there. And then you have the best seat in the house to watch David Letterman uh, grill his guests or, or uh, you know, watch, watch that comedy unfold. Wow, what, what, what a perfect, what a perfect gig. So Paul Schaefer's Most Dangerous Band is, is my uh, dream band that I would love to be in. Been thinking that ever since I was a kid, even before I could like actually play. But uh, they had something to do with uh, wanting me to dig into this and, and make it a profession. Paul Shaver's World Most Dangerous Band. Pull up some of that stuff on YouTube. Pretty cool. Alrighty, guys. Until next week. Bye. Hello, Bass family. Another great question this week from Dale Titus uh, regarding uh, who would you like to sit in with of all the bands or be a part of. And I can hold this bass up and you can probably get a general idea or make an educated guess and be 50% correct. Um, I would like to be in Cream, um, but that's only 50% correct. Um, actually, the band that I saw and was introduced to in 1999 and 2000 was a band called Government Mule. Uh, and the great, late, great Alan Woody on bass, um, amazing player and uh, very creative. And uh, of course, uh, the amazing Warren Haynes on guitar, my favorite guitar player on the planet, actually. Uh, Matt Apps on drums, and um, I actually sent a, a demo tape, if that's what they call it, or I think a press kit, um, later on to try to get in uh, Government Mule, but uh, alas, no success. But uh, for me, it would be Government Mule. Uh, to this day, I'd love to be in, in that band. So, if I had any choice of any group I could be a part of, that's a good question. Um, you know... As far back as I can remember, I've always like thought that it would be the really coolest first class thing to do for me would be a part of Steely Dan because, you know, the music is just so perfect and um, gosh, that would be so much fun. But uh, um, who knows? Maybe it could happen. You know, you never know. But uh, um, that's my first choice. It's the first thing that comes to mind. There's so many people, though. There's so many different bands and different uh, types of uh, acts and things that, wow, wouldn't that be great? But I think the first one that comes to mind, the strongest, is definitely Steely Dan for me. I think, uh, um, you know, so if Donald Fagan, you're listening, I'm available. <laughs> so anyway, that's what I think. Thanks so much. Bye -bye. What band would I pick to sit in with that was already famous? I'd probably have to go with Faith No More. Uh... Not only do you have some phenomenal talents in the band, obviously a vocalist like Mike Patton, you've got uh, phenomenal drums, and it just seems like a constantly challenging environment to be in, and one that was incredibly innovative. You've got uh, keyboards, which I don't usually get to play against, and then you've got metal, rock, pop, soul, funk, R&B, on a constantly changing landscape. So always being challenged and having to come up with new ideas and versatility. It seems like something you just never get bored with. And yeah, they've put out to me, some of the best 
albums that have ever come out of rock. Really innovative and I think really challenging and interesting. So I'd have to go with Faith No More. Hi Dale, it's Roy Vogt and I'm videoing this to you from my home practice room and studio in Nashville, Tennessee. I just wanted to answer your question. Which band, past or present, would I love to sit in with? And that's an easy one for me. And that would be Chick Corea and Return to Forever, especially the uh, the early to mid-70s band, the classic quartet that did the electric stuff. Um, that is a huge influence in my life. I actually did the a tribute performance of uh, the Romantic Warrior album at the 2019 Summer NAMM show at my bass invitational, and that is some hard stuff. So, uh, anyway, yeah, playing with those guys, those guys are people that have, have been heroes of mine since I was a college freshman. And uh, that would be it. That would be like getting called up to the majors. Anyway, hope you're doing great. Hope all of your uh, viewers out there are doing great. Uh, I'm a teacher, so i got to say this. Learn to read and keep practicing and have some fun with your bass. All right. See you later. What dream band, past or present, would I want to sit in with and get to play with? Uh, that's a tough one. Uh, it could go many different ways for me personally. Uh, one that comes to mind uh, off the top of my head is Earth, Wind, and Fire. Uh, you know. You know, the great uh, Verdine White, uh, amazing bass player, amazing, you know, music. Uh, getting to play with drums, percussion, keys, horns, great multiple singers. Uh, it'd be amazing. It'd be a great opportunity. Uh, but my my gut reaction is to go with, you know, those childhood dreams and stuff that I would still dream about doing to this day. Getting in like in a four-piece rock band and rocking out and playing great tunes, uh, for me, it would be Led Zeppelin. Uh, and I'm sure that's probably an answer that a lot of people will give. Uh, obviously, getting to play great John Paul Jones bass lines. getting to play in a band and, and rock out with John Bonham as a drummer. Oh my gosh, you know. Uh, also getting to play keys in the band too. That'd be fun, uh, switching gears there. Being in a band with uh, Jimmy Page and uh, Robert Plant would also be amazing. But also getting to play nice, good songs like that, like right in that mellow feel, but also getting to rock out from time to time, you know. <laughs> You know, doing stuff like that uh, would be so much fun. Um, so I'd have to say for me, probably Led Zeppelin. Uh, and I'm sure, again, it's an answer that a lot of people gave, but, uh, but it depends on the mood. I mean, answers could change just kind of like when you're listening to music, like what are you in the mood for at that, that point? It's not better or, or worse, it's just different. It's just what you're in the mood for. Uh, again, a great question. Thanks, Dale. Uh, look forward to the next one. Take care. Dale, yeah, I'd like to time travel. 1963, Brazil. Tom Jobim, João Gilberto, American Stan Getz, all collaborating on some fantastic Brazilian music. Unbelievable harmonies, sophisticated melodies, the sort of hypnotic bossa nova rhythms. Just love that stuff and would, uh, would love to be a fly on the wall for those sessions. Just extremely sophisticated, brilliant music, in my opinion. I would love to be there and check it out. Thanks, Dale. Hey, guys. So if I had to pick a band to play with, um, I think it would be Bonnie Raitt's band probably um, around 2000-ish. Um, I saw that band on the Bontage Relay Tour when Bonnie Raitt was touring and doing a co-bill with Taj Mahal. And um, Bonnie Raitt's just always been... a just one of my greatest influences. I love her voice. I love her songwriting style. Um, just so good. And uh, that particular band had Ricky Fatar on drums, who's somebody that I've always wanted to play with. Um, I believe John Cleary was on keys, and he brings that just really phenomenal New Orleans style groove to the keyboards. And um, I think George Marinelli was on guitar. And, you know, to play with that band and to play her catalog of songs um, would just be such a treat. And it's just so groovy. So uh, that's 
totally the band that I would want to play in. All right, bye. Hello again. This is an awesome question because uh, I have what we call a bucket list of gigs. Uh, back in February of this year, I was fortunate enough to be able to spend some time with Mr. Roy Vogt in Nashville, and we talked about uh, this exact thing. For me, I'm still holding out to sit in and jam with ZZ Top, and of course, Mr. Frank Beard and Billy Gibbons, uh, as well as Joan Jett. I'm just a huge fan of, of the music and the legacy that they've created in their careers. And um, as far as modern players, uh, Hailstorm, uh, Dorothy, uh, I love I love these these um, young bands that are playing old school rock and roll the way it used to be. Um, and there's just there's a lot of opportunities to just be a part of what uh, modern bands are creating. And um, I, I look forward to it. And you know, even though I'm I'm still not. Uh, a, a famous bass player myself, although a famous bass player is kind of a contradiction in terms. But uh, we'll, uh, I'm, I'm holding out and making making all the phone calls, and uh, I look forward to being able to cross a couple of those things off my list. Uh, most uh, immediately, my friend Walter Trout. Uh, it's been a great privilege to get to know Walter, and um, we've been trying to schedule a, uh, a session for jamming and, and you know, making some music together. And I just look forward to the possibilities that lay before us. I uh, hope everybody's enjoying these uh, Q and A's. Please leave comments. And uh, I, I'm, in, I'm enjoying having this time with my, our base family, though we're spread across the country, but it's uh, still like being able to be together. All right, uh, everybody have a good day and we'll uh, see you next week. Man, this has been a tough one. I. Uh... There's so many bands and artists that I'd love to play with. My, my mind first went to actually being from Northern California. One of my favorite bands growing up uh, was uh, uh, Cold Blood with Lydia Pensk. And um, I thought, man, just to, to lock in with some of those grooves and the music seemed so much fun. But then I, I thought Bill Withers, his bands, oh, his bands were always the best and just to kind of experience that. But then I kind of just thought back and I thought, you know what? I would love to play with, have gone back and sat in with the makeup and everything, play with Kiss. I mean, at their height, uh, Kiss Alive 2 time maybe, uh, playing some of those huge venues, just to feel that presence of that audience with all the pyrotechnics and all the bombastic uh, uh, stage things going on, uh, just to feel that power. So I'm going to say actually, yeah, I would love to sit in with the uh, demon makeup and play, uh, play with Kiss. That would be awesome. Um, so yeah, that's my answer. Hey, um, I hope you're enjoying these Bass Family Chats, but it's just the beginning of the conversation. We def definitely, all the players here um, who contributed to all these videos, they want to know what you think. Um, so in the comments below, definitely, you know, what band would you sit in with? And, uh, and tell us why. Um, that'd be awesome. We'd love to share that. Uh, also, uh, if you're enjoying these, but maybe you've missed some, there's a playlist on Everything Bass with Dale Titus with all the Bass Family Chats. So you can go back and watch them start to finish. And, and I think they're a lot of fun and definitely uh, gets conversations started and draws our community even closer together. Hey, thank you guys so much, and we'll see you at the next video.